So, uh, welcome to Dog Rocks. Um, it's a very impromptu uh, stop. Uh, there's weather's been awful for the last uh, week or so, and haven't been able to get out. And so, the opportunity presented passing this by in dull light. But the sun does break through every, every now and then. I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, nab a shot here at Dog's Rocks. So it's just as normal, and I level the tripod. Um, I have this uh, neat little um, leveler. So there's a little uh, there's a little switch here, a little knob, and then the whole head, the whole head bobbles about. And I use this handy little, handy little bubble. And that way I know that now, if I do a panorama, that the head is perfectly level. And we've just got to watch out for the grass because it's a little bit bouncy. So we've just got to watch that uh, while we're doing our composition. I do like it when the sun comes out, it just adds a little bit of light across the scene so I'm going to be quick because there's rain forecast so I'm just going to make sure just recenter that image swing it left and right to make sure that we're uh, the green line is staying uh, perfectly horizontal I'm going to throw a soft grad on um, just to tame that sky a little bit because the grass in front of us is a little bit darker than the sky. So yeah, throw on, I'm going to throw on a, a grad. So I'll throw on the uh, Nissi holder. I'll very slightly adjust the uh, polarizer and just how we go there and sometimes it, allow, it enables the blue to deepen but what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch around and pull that across to make sure that we're not vignetting anywhere while we're doing that and that looks okay that looks okay um, so I'll put a soft grad on um, 1.2 should do us 1.2 we have, and there's that sun, I can feel it coming out, which is probably good. There we go. So, I'm just going to uh, make sure I focus on, uh, the tr on the tree. What I'm going to do is I'm just swinging backwards and forwards and I'm going to take a metre reading, the brightest part of the scene. So that's here on the right hand side by the tree. And that's giving us a twentieth of a second. So now I can flip onto manual quite happily. And I can put this down to a twentieth of a second. And I know that as I swing across, I can actually go a touch higher than that. Thirteenth looks okay on the histogram. So I can go to a thirteenth, see maybe, tenth maybe pushing it, thirteenth of a second. And uh, I know that now when I swing right the way across, that'll be fine. It'll keep the same exposure. So while we're here, I'm just gonna focus on the tree. So I don't mind these grasses being slightly out of focus. The wind's picking up a twentieth of a second. Um, I might bump the ice when I get back to the tree to capture that absolutely stock still. Uh, but I don't mind a slight bit of movement on the, uh, on, the, um, on the grass at all. So that's all in focus. I'm going to swing around to the left. And it's probably going to be about eight shots. I've got to move quickly. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's get this, let these rattled off. So there's one. 
and I'm on a two second timer I'm shifting the camera um, to overlap each shot by by about a half just so we've got plenty plenty of images to play with So I'm going to do this one at this shutter speed, 1 20th, and number six, so it was six shots. That's a beautiful looking tr bit of log over there. There's a nice log over there. We might have a little look at that in a moment. This is a, a scene that you can see in front of us and I want to um, sort of frame this tree. Uh, this height, this is the camera height at the moment and you can see there's an expanse of not so nice green grass between us. But if I drop down slightly, that lessens and you've just got to be careful though of this separation here between these two rocks so you just got to make sure that we keep that in um, you can see it widens there and lessens so it pays just to drop yourself just move about and see just how you can frame up so that looks quite nice i think just like that with the rock framing the bottom of the scene and then the tree in the top left hand third and some negative space off to the right so i think that's what we're going to do i'll try it with the 32 for the time being and if it doesn't work then uh, we'll throw on the uh, 23. let's see what we can do here by dropping down a bit low hey rafi that's actually quite nice uh, i'm, I'm going to take one with the uh, i'm going to take one now with the uh, 30 at 32 mil I'm going to focus first of all on this near rock. Um, yes, get our composition right. Let's focus on this near rock and take that. I'm still at 1 60th of a second. And I'm going to focus on the tree. But you don't knock that. Thank you. <laughs> so we've got those two. position reason being is that the light might change and there's a shot over here I really want to take there's a log just here which provides a fabulous little focus focal point for the image and at 23 millimeters I think that's gonna make a, a lovely shot so nice and simple focused immediately on this little um little little um log in front of us and then again on the tree itself now the majority of these are probably going to be black and white um because of the uh because because it's blue sky as you can see and that's quite nice i quite like that the light is coming out so let's just uh let me just get one more of those and then i'm going to lower this composition even more 
try and catch it when the sun breaks through. So let me very quickly change this composition slightly. I think if I get lower, I can give that log a bit more impact. And I actually think if I drop it just a touch more, there is a plant, the bottom left hand corner. So let me just refocus. Let's go from the plant, there's that. Now your eye, hopefully in this image, will start at the plant in the bottom left hand corner. That's not a very pretty plant, I'll grant you that. Uh, but it, as it is a lighter green, it's catching the light a little bit. And then there's light on the side of this log, which sort of curves you round. And then we've got the tree in the middle, just there. So that's quite nice, I like that. That's a, that's a lovely little composition, I think. I do like that. Okay, uh, there's gonna be a break in the clouds in a second. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to wait a second or two and see if we can catch it with a bit more, a bit more light. A bit more light on this uh, tree. So we shouldn't have to wait too long. There we go, I can feel the warmth. Taking that. And then very quickly through the to the log. feel that warm on my face so that's lovely and we'll do I'm just going to go back up and do that tree once more because I think it's improved nice so that light I think will make all the difference on that composition on that log fantastic okay so I did say we were going to come back and try and focus on these little little pink flowers. For this one we probably have to get a lot closer than we have been. We are so close. So I'm going to take one image on the tree. And then I'm going to take a second shot. focused on this little patch of pink flowers. Okay, we'll have to go with the uh, we'll have to go with the, the the noisy camera in terms of I hope the quality's okay. Um, this is uh yeah the the, the battery's gone and uh, my other battery I've just realised I haven't charged from yesterday, so the batteryless um, we do have this little camera though. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's little outing. Um, I know I have regardless. And so, all it leaves me to say is please look after you and yours. And until next time, see ya.